But that was a wonderful night. But of course, the next day, I had to do the office. I have. Now we can see it in the light. Now we can see the office in the light, guys. Uh, it's not good. I did post a couple of pictures uh, to Twitter uh, of what was happening there, but it's not good. It's not good. Are you ready for the, the, the office in the light? Are you ready to see what has become of this place after a couple of weeks? Well, a few weeks now. Yeah, we're in... Yeah, so it's been nearly a month. Nearly a month, because it was when I was in Switzerland. Yeah, I went. Str I walked straight out, walked over to Morrison's, and bought myself, like, three masks to work in here. Because I had to sort this whole place out. This is what I was doing all yesterday. As I, I had to completely gut the place and bag everything up to be trashed, the whole business. Uh, so this is how it looked when I got there. So we'll start off here. So you can see that's our announce table that I built. Uh, for the Questline Conflict and other events that we will run in the future. It will not go to waste, but uh, the table is just in the middle. Lots of trash. So we'll, this is obviously a compressed video, but uh, you can see this trash everywhere. So what happened, I've got a clearer picture now of what happened, is that basically Jono, my brother, my nephew, Chris, and the movers, I think there's like three of them, they just grabbed everything they possibly could and ran out of the building, essentially. And so they used all the tools that we had. This was actually our tool section. There was a tool chest here that had all our tools and stuff in it. It was just everywhere. Uh, so this is what we're dealing with. There goes our fireplace set. It looks like, I haven't checked because this fi the fireplace set has been demolished. I think they ripped off all the walling. Uh, from what I could gather, they've, they've ripped it all out to take it apart. So that will need replacing. Uh, but our carpet is bad. And this is like a whole thing this is the only dry area of the office is this bit so i had to put yesterday i spent all day getting all our stuff bubble wrapping everything and getting it all into this area because i'm told in fact i'm promised that the people who are replacing everything will happily move all our stuff uh from the dry area to the, the newly done area and then they'll redo it so we'll see we'll see how that goes but there's our fi wonderful fireplace set and pieces uh, these are the big screen TVs uh, that were left on the side. I'm kind of worried about these. Um, with the mold in there, I wonder if molds got inside and destroyed them. I'm going to have to find that out. I don't know where the cables and stuff are to actually plug them in and test them. But yeah, I'm kind of worried, especially with all the monitors on the floor. That might be a thing. So all the monitors you can see here. There's actually like three more behind this TV and another three behind the other TV. But these are just here. I'm worried if molds got inside them. Maybe. Maybe. So we'll see on that. Uh, I, I couldn't test them while I was there, which was a bit of a bummer. There's our poor green screen. It's completely ruined. It's shredded. So I, I posted on Twitter. I tore this down yesterday. And got it out of there. But it's, it's, you'll see, hopefully this will come through on this compressed video. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> you get it. Just understand, this is on every wall. This is on literally every wall. It's just that the, with this video, you can't see it until I got close to it. But it's on every single wall. Uh, so Emma was like, oh, the, the sticker survived. I was like, yeah, there's literally mold. You can see it there and there. And it's everywhere all over it. I was like, uh-huh. They're still saying two months. You can actually see that's the only dry patch. Just to give you context of how wet the walls still are, that is the only dry patch. You see it's slightly lighter there. The walls are still soaking wet. They're absolutely soaking wet. And when I ripped up the floor of the green screen, because the mats are actually fine. The mats were made of like a rubbery plastic. They're fine. Um, underneath, it was still like huge pools of water that were underneath it. Uh, as we went through. I don't think it's two months either. They're telling... Like, you'll see in a minute. One of the walls is falling down. <laughs> uh, so, we'll see how that goes. And when I rip these down, there's all mold behind the green screen. Which is a bit of a bummer. Right, well, not a bit of a bummer. It's a major bummer. As you can see, this wall's coming apart. This is like a fake wall. But you can see the gap has formed. This It's like shrunk and it's falling, falling apart. 
It's a full teardown. Yeah, it's it's a complete rebuild. Thankfully, the server came out. This is our server area and our network area. That's been pulled down. See the wet patch? <laughs> see the line of water that was pouring in down every single wall? You can see it's glistening over there as well. You can see, yeah, you can see where it's all come down. That, that little bit is dry. But you know what's the worst part? Oh, honestly. So they've obviously turned the water off to the building, right? That clearly did not stop anybody from using the toilet, which could not be flushed. It's been a month. I had to go over to KFC to use the toilet, but because I walked into the I didn't think, right? I didn't think, so I needed a piss. I walked into the toilet. I'd been there like a couple of hours. I walked in, I went, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I'm not cleaning it. That's not happening. I don't even know how I would. I'd have to, like, fucking get something to suck all the, the piss out. But it's been left for a month. It's rank. So that's uh, not for me. I am not dealing with that. A bucket? Yeah, I'd have to, like, siphon the water out somehow. Chris's Pepsi Maxes have survived, though. Good job, Chris. And the beers ready for the next FF14 party. They're ready to go as well. This was the contents of our fridge. Our fridge was Pepsi Max, uh, sugar-free Fantas for me, water, and beer. It was the most ultimate gamer fridge imaginable. That's all that was in the, in the fridge. That's how we did it. I tell you who's still here, though. Roger. <laughs> the Roger display survives. Look at that one, one solitary patch of dry. But uh, you see this crack? That was not there. This crack is was not there. This is a big, big crack where the wall is coming away from the other wall. Uh, two months, huh? Uh-huh. We'll see. We'll see. But this this was, this was, is new. This is a brand new crack that's uh, mixed in. You see all the mold? Mold, 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 mold. Yeah, there we go. That is a brand new crack. And you can see where the water was pouring in extra heavy down there. And you can see it's pulled all the wall away. <laughs> <laughs> Just use displates to cover the whole thing. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just paint over it. It'll be totally fine. There's definitely not like pure mold that's got in between there. How's the smell? Awful. Awful. Because my wife and kids came with me to. Because I went to BQ and I bought a load of storage boxes and bubble wrap and tape and stuff like that to get everything organized and some labeling. Uh, they walked in and went, you guys need to get the fuck out of here right now. Like, it smells so bad. So, so bad. I was like, just get out. It's fine. Not bad, says Roger Brown. Not bad. This, we swapped this display. Well, what happened is, is we had this above a crack uh, that was there originally. It's above here on the wall. Uh, and for a video, we thought, fuck it, we'll put a display over the crack. It'll be fine, right? So we stuck Roger Brown up there. Uh, and then Sinestra, a.k.a. Sam, who's on Echo's production team, who came down for the Questling Conflict, swapped it out so it wasn't an Echo one. And it kept getting swapped, and then it fell down at some point, and it's actually sliced in half along the back bracket of the radiator. So it fell with such force that it's, like, sliced up the size of it, and nobody can get this display out. It is so wedged in there. Roger Brown is now a permanent fixture of this wall because we have tried, like I have yanked and yanked to try and get this damn thing out and it's not happening. Like it's completely like sliced down it and it's wedged and gripped into there. Like we cannot get this fucking thing out. So Roger is now going to be there. I could pull it apart, but like whatever. It's kind of funny. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, ew. Every wall, dudes. Every freaking wall. Just covered in it. Yummy. And here's my streamer room. Oh, all this has been binned. Unlucky. All the fancy dress stuff we've collected is gone. Although, do you know what survived? The Tataru. My Tataru outfit is totally fine. Totally fine. My Tataru outfit is completely fine. It was in a plastic bag. It was safe. It's absolutely fine. It was the only thing that survived. I went through all this yesterday. It is the only thing that has survived is Tataru. <laughs> the Tataru cosplay lives. 
This was a shame to throw away because obviously a lot of our stuff came from sponsors and stuff. So they sent us all the boxes and we kept a lot of the stuff in there. But all of these are ruined. Which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, so we, we obviously keep them in case we need to send them back or something. Uh, but yeah, unfortunate. Unforge. F the wall. Oh god, it's so it's still so soaking wet when I see all the different colours. Look at that. Look how wet it is. Uh the magnets are demagnetized. I don't know how that's happened, but they certainly are. But you can just You can see how my camera survived. This camera that I'm on right now, like, Chris was 100%. That thing is dead, dude. Because it was wet. It was wet from the dripping from the ceiling. But it was here. So it just luckily avoided the wall moisture. Look, it, like, went around it. Fair play to the water. It actually went around where my camera was on the wall. That's pretty GG, honestly. That is a solid win. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh gross you know what's worse they haven't dehumidified it or opened the windows the windows have been sealed since this has happened like the windows have been you see even got in here it went into every room every single room see all the wet this is where the preach con pictures were which is why we're i haven't seen them yet i'm seeing them on saturday so i'm kind of hoping the preach con pictures are okay but it did get the preach con wall which is a bummer because there's some really really cool pictures on there I think if they've survived, I'm going to get... That, that was the chair. That's the mold that you can visually see. That's all mold. That's what I put out on Twitter. I don't think we'll use that car seat again. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think so. This was a dress... I think... Was this a Yishtola dress that we got for Emma? And she never got to wear it. She never got to wear it. It's just ruined. This, I'm really sorry. This is a gift box for dis from Displate because our office got destroyed. And it, I don't know how long it's been. It is wrapped, so it's probably fine. But <laughs> this is a gift package that Displate sent us because the office got destroyed. <laughs> and I didn't know what it was. I was reading it yesterday. It says from Displate with our uh, condolences for what's happened to the office. I didn't even know it was there. But uh, KFC's fine. That's good news. You can see KFC is totally fine. But yeah, there you go. Absolutely fucked, man. Absolutely fucked. So ruined. So ruined. Yeah, KFC is fine. KFC is totally fine. Blasted is what it is. Blasted. How's the neighbors? Did they get any damage? I haven't seen them. They weren't there then. Uh, I don't know if their doors are locked. I didn't try and go in. It's not really my place to do that. Uh, so, but yeah, 